اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ کلاس الیونتھ سبجیکٹ ایجوکیشن اینڈ دا ٹاپک آبزرویشن میتھڈ آف چائلڈ ایجوکیشن سائیکالوجی واٹ از مینڈ بائی آبزرویشن میتھڈ واٹ آر ویئر سٹیپس انوالوڈ ان آبزرویشن میتھڈ The observational method is one of the most useful methods of child study. It is implied to study the behavior of others. By the help of this method, overt or external behavior is watched and interpreted. In this method, two or more persons are involved. The expert who notes or interprets the behavior is called observer and about whom The information is collected is called the subject. In other words, the observer tries to observe the subject. It is most subject to in nature as it does not depend on the past history of the individual or on the data collected by someone else. What are the various steps involved in observation method? In every observation, Generally, four steps are followed, which are as under. Number one, observing the behavior. It is the first step of this method. The observer tries to observe the behavior of the student under observation without letting them to know that someone is observing them. Otherwise, the observation will lack objectivity. Number second, noting the behavior. In the second step, The observer notes down the behavior pattern side by side during a given period of time. Number third, analyzing the behavior. In the third step, the observer tries to analyze the behavior in a systematic way. And number four, interpretation and generalization. Lastly, after a scientific analysis of the data, The observer tries to interpret the data and it is possible for him to generalize the situation. Now, what are the merits or advantages of the observation method? Number one, it is more objective method than introspection. This is the most suitable method. It can be usefully implied in child psychology, animal psychology and abnormal psychology. Number second, it is not retrospection. This method does not depend on the past history or events. It observes the situation then and there. The record of the observations is made on the support. Number third, it does not depend on memory. The observer takes a note of the ob- behavior pattern side by side and hence he has not to depend upon the memory as he needs not recall anything number four the behavior of the all organism can be studied through this method the introspection cannot be applied on young children or animals but this method can be applied on all the organism children animals or living beings Number five, it is useful in the study of young children. This method is of vital importance in the study of children because they are not asked to introspect the things as only their external behavior is taken into consideration. Like others, this method is also having some limitations or shortcomings. Now, what are the limitations of this method? Means objective method. Like other methods, this method also has got certain shortcomings which are as under. Number one, personal prejudices. Personal prejudice comes in the way of observation to a psychologist while observing a child. The observer may hide his feelings in observation regarding the particular case. All human beings have their own weakness and that may reflect in the observation. Number second, 
dearth of experts. The observer who is going to observe the child must be well experienced and qualified and trained as it is very difficult to find such experienced and qualified and trained persons. Number third, all the problems cannot be solved. Observation method fails to solve all the problems. It is impossible to interpret the dreams through this method. Therefore, it cannot be called a universal method. Number four, it is not a universal method. Full reliance cannot be placed on the data collected through this method. Sometimes its objectivity is married due to introduction of the element of bias in it. Number last, no settler conventions. Children are more prone to change. They do not have settled convention. They shift from one aspect to another. Thus, it becomes difficult to observe their behavior. But, in spite of the above, very shortcomings in this method, it is undoubtedly the most valuable method in child study. It is through this method that the observers can draw the most appropriate conclusions regarding the child's behavior. Some aspects of human behavior are so changeable and complicated that one can only be satisfied by observation. The observation has widened the field of psychology and has made it more useful in our day-to-day -day life. Thank you very much.